This plant here is called Kleinia semperviva, and I used to know it as Senecio sempervivus, but as I had been mentioning, some of the Senecio actually got put into two different kinds of genera, including Kleinia. And I have a tendency to collect a little bit more of Kleinia because I really love the flowers. They have kind of these little more colorful pom-pom flowers. I actually don't know what color flower this one is though, because this one hasn't flowered yet. But um, I, got, I got more Kleinia after seeing how one of my Kleinia put out some really beautiful red pom-poms. Now you can see one of the leaves actually sheared here off at the base and it's um, hardening off, but I actually don't think that this propagates, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this actually propagates by leaf cutting, or at least this one didn't. Um, you might have to go take t um, uh, uh, tip cuttings or you might have to actually go by seed. Um, this has a pretty woody base, so I'd imagine that this could get like really Really large. Um, I just got this as a small plant, so and it was grown from seed. So I'm, I'm interested to see how it kind of grows out because my other Kleinia is kind of like sprawling and spreading out. So it probably has a similar habitat or habit. As far as its habitat and where it's native to, it is from Yemen and it's growing in a little bit more of a harsh terrain. So you could see that this kind of like whitish hue of this plant is probably bouncing off some of those sun rays and protecting the plant. I have this actually growing in one of my southwest facing windows, so it's getting a lot of that great light alongside um, my other Kleinia. So I'm really looking forward to kind of growing this a bit more. Um, as well as you could see the soil here, I'm just giving it a little bit more of a rockier mix. I think a lot of those plants that are from Yemen are kind of growing in a little bit more of this rocky, sandy kind of mixture, so I want to give a little bit more to that. You might see some little plants growing up there. Those are probably Kalinkoe. I have Kalinkoe that have decided to uh, <laughs> take residence in every pot that they could actually put their little plantlets into. So that is not one of the, the little guys coming up here of my, my Kleinia. What else can I say? Pest pressures haven't had any whatsoever. If you get a lot of light and you love kind of beautiful pom-pom color flowers, then I would say, you might want to look into getting a Kleinia like this Kleinia Semperviva. Viva. <laughs>